welcome to. Welcome to Askill Asking. Uh, so we did it. Uh, we have a lot of strong Asian players. Uh, what would you say is the best thing about Asia in general? Best thing about Asia? We have amazing cuisine. The food is so good here in Asia. I mean, I especially in the Indian cuisine, I love. Uh, no surprise. But yeah, I think when you speak about the broader picture, um, it's it's one of the fastest growing uh, countries yeah, in the world right now. And in every field, let it be economic, sports, uh, you know, it's really coming, uh, it's fighting with the developed countries. So I think we'll be speaking a lot about Asian countries and Asian players in the future. That's what I feel. And what is your favorite place in Asia, besides where you, you're living now or where you're coming from? Mm -hmm. Have you been traveling a lot around Asia? Uh, no, I usually travel to Europe most often. I haven't traveled that much in Asia. Uh, I really like India, so I would pick a place within that. I was recently counting, I've been to like 26 states in India. So I have to like catch up on the remaining ones. Uh, but I think the northern Himalayan sides, you know, yeah, uh, with the mountain ranges, they're really gorgeous. I can imagine. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I would I would pick one of the places there, yeah, definitely, <laughs> for solitude. <laughs> India is, is uh, experiencing a boom now with all these fantastic young players, uh, yourself included. Um, but still, uh, India is uh, struggling a bit in the sense that you haven't had the world champion since uh, Vishyanand. But now we have all these uh, wonderful talents coming through. Um, do you see India as a chess superpower in, in the future? So Yeah, it's one of the things which has uh, not happened, as you rightly mentioned, that we, didn't, we haven't had a successor for Vishyanand. Uh, because his achievements are like really, uh, you know, superb and to reach there it's not easy and i feel the problem is not many tournaments happen in india so all the players from india they play in europe or other countries and that's the main issue if there were more events in india i think it would help give them more opportunity um, and that's one of the biggest reasons uh, why this boom although there are many talents eventually they die down because lack of opportunity or um, a chance to play against the best yeah. And I think uh, that's changing slowly. Uh, I think with the recent interest in chess uh, all around the world and also in India, I think we will have many more events coming up. That's my gut feeling. I could be wrong, but if that happens, you know, India could be uh, the next superpower in chess. And we're curious to know how you have put the new indoor uh, measuring air quality device from AirThings to use uh, so far in the Meltwater Champions chess store. Yeah, yeah, I did uh, put it on and I think it was even broadcasted to the stream when we were playing. Yeah, so I've used it. Do you feel you get some benefits from using it? Do you check your data afterwards? Are you focused on having the right temperature, etc.? In India, it's always hot. It doesn't <laughs> matter which time it is. In India, it's always hot, you know. You can't really change that temperature. Uh, but, you know, I'm a, a very uh, nerd type of person. And I really love these numbers when I see, oh, okay, the air quality is good today because I used to be fascinated at some point with this. So I'm a big time nerd and I love to check the metrics from time to time. So I guess you live in but a dry, dry uh, climate and dry part of India or tropical? Uh, no, no, it's definitely not tropical. It's a little bit um, slightly hilly um, site. So generally the air is very good where I live. Okay. Uh, it's actually, from what I know, it has, it at some point it had the second best or the best air quality in India. Wow. So I was very happy about that. That's impressive. That was my follow-up question. What challenges do you have uh, with air quality uh, where you live? Um, I think uh, in COVID scenes, we have different problems with air quality, but uh, <laughs> apart from that, yeah. it's uh, very, generally but, very healthy. But, I, but uh, what about live. pollution and uh, radon and so on? Any challenges with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, India, as you know, it's quite crowded. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, pollution on the street. But due to the lockdown, you know, uh, not many people were going out. So actually it came down quite a bit. And we had really, I think, one of the best air qualities 
since a long like decades you know we never had such good uh, atmosphere um, yeah but yeah as i said my city in general does better than other cities so yeah well, that's, that's good to hear that. you're lucky in that sense the world is opening up again people will travel uh, you will travel uh, abroad to play tournaments will you consider bringing your air things device when traveling to ensure having good uh, air quality wherever you go um that's an interesting option actually uh, i didn't consider uh, that <laughs> to take it somewhere and i'm going to russia so i better check if they have good air otherwise i might have to carry it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a good idea um okay final question what has been the biggest improvement in your play uh, the last uh, year or so um i feel um, i have gotten better with each championship tour event i have played in 3 and the games wise i feel i've done much better uh, overall i feel i was lacking a few uh, consistency in some of the games um there were like few games which should be draw or i should be winning and i end up losing them which was ridiculous so i'm trying to i worked on it and it has helped overall um apart from that i feel uh, i also got a lot of experience playing against the top players uh like uh, you know is this tournament is extremely strong and you have players like Wesley Magnus Nakamura Anish they they are playing all the time nepo uh and to play them again and again has helped me uh get better because when you play for the first time you're also a little bit of a little bit nervous you don't know what to expect but playing them repeatedly has i think my game improved my understanding overall Yes, I think uh I think that's a good uh, assessment. And as you said, uh, playing stronger players is the way to improve, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Vidit. Uh it's been a pleasure and take care. See you. Thank you.